everyone, this is Moshe, the electric Israeli, in my car, all parked. I have my laptop here, I have my notes here, and I want to thank all of my uh, subscribers and patrons. Consider to be a patron of this awesome channel. Uh, if you're new, once you subscribe, help me change the world one electric car at a time. And this uh, video is dedicated to all of the Tesla haters, naysayers, jealous people, and whatever you want. And I want to point out some facts. Now, obviously, I'm a Tesla owner. I'm an electric car owner. I have an agenda. I have a motive. There's no, there's no denying. There's no secrets. Uh, and I, I live by a motto, a credo of success has many uh, parents and uh, failure is orphan. In other words, when something is very successful, everybody takes credit, and if somebody fails, uh, uh, is orphan. You know, you you blame somebody. So for those who hate Tesla, the speculators, the shorts, and all that, you know, uh, in the last earning call last week, uh, Elon Musk really revealed something. One of the investors asked him, uh, in hindsight or whatever, do you think Tesla would be better served? It was a private company and not public. And he, of course, laughed uh, like a, a ironic laugh or anger laugh or sad laugh that says, yes, Tesla would have been much better if it was a private company and not open to all this scrutiny by Wall Street to just focus on one thing. And I understand business is business. Uh, uh, but he said the, that ship has sailed and, you know, w there's no point of discussing it right now. But I wish Tesla was, was a, a private company who can just focus on results. And truthfully, that's what it does. And let me just tell you what Tesla, or not, not tell you, it's not, I'm not telling you anything and nobody can find out by themselves, but just to remind you of what Tesla has done already. What Tesla has, and I've been following Tesla since 2008, okay, uh, from the beginning, from the first Roadster, and uh, over the over this year, so let's call it 2012, not 2008, because that's when Tesla cars start to be produced and delivered. I mean, yes, the Roadster was a car, but they're very limited, but mass, mass cars. So, as of now, Tesla has produced the following, 500,000 uh, cars uh, delivered around the world, uh, solar uh, panels installed on tens of thousands of roofs. I, I'm one of them. Uh, backup batteries, uh, Tesla tiles that are going that very small production, but it's coming up. Autopilot uh, that is basically a semi-autonomous uh, features that Tesla cars have, and only Tesla cars have, changing lanes and all that stuff. And here's the biggest one. Uh, 1,444 uh, supercharger stations uh, representing 12,888 stalls, like actual uh, boots that you can uh, charge in, which is which is revolutionary. Nobody has it, and which makes long driving uh, 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 available, and it's getting better every single day. I am the biggest testimonial of that. Uh, Model Y introduced and reservation I'll be taking. Tesla Semi introduced is going to be uh, produced next uh, year. A new Tesla Roadster is um, uh, introduced and it's going to be delivered next year. But here is, besides the um, the uh, um, the superchargers, which is the Tesla's biggest, biggest accomplishment, the biggest advantage, believe me this, uh, here are what Tesla already done and uh, people don't think about it too much. Six major uh, gigafactories and factories. Let me name. Let me name them to you. The the Tesla factory in Fremont, where all types of of uh, uh, Tesla cars are produced. Uh, Tesla gig, uh, Gigafactory One in Sparks, Nevada, that produced battery cells, motors. Uh, uh, Tesla Gigafactory Two in Buffalo, New York, uh, that does the solar products. Tesla Gigafactory 3 under construction in Shanghai in lightning speed coming up at the end of the year. It will, uh, in China, like I said, it will produce cars and other, other things besides lithium battery uh, cells for the Chinese market. Tesla final assembly factory uh, of Model S and Model X uh, in the Netherlands uh, for the European market. And also the uh, plans for the Tesla uh, Gigafactory in Germany, that's not approved yet, uh, or but that will be also serving the um, uh, uh, European market. So we got 
five, uh, half a million cars, solar, batteries, autopilot, full self-driving coming, um, 12,000, almost 13,000 superchargers, stalls, roadsters, maybe uh, Tesla insurance, um, five giga factory slash uh, fact, uh, uh, you know, production factories, and more and more and more and more coming, coming, coming. And they, I know that there's a lot of hype sometimes and Elon Musk sometimes say things that, you know, takes a long time. But look what has been accomplished since 2012. Look what has been accomplished in six short years. I took the, uh, the uh, car industry 120 years to get to this and, yet, and, and Tesla already passed them in light years ahead of them. Now, there's always going to be uh, issues. There are always, always going to be problems. You can always pick on something and I get it. I'm, you know, we're not ch children. But look back and see what have been done. And that is the greatest accomplishment. So all the Tesla haters, that's okay. Uh, you know, Bob Lutz and alike and, and, and all those naysayers and all those people who live in the past. You know, that's okay. Uh, eventually, you'll have to get on the uh, bandwagon or you're going to be left behind. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Thank you for watching. Help me change the world one electric car at a time. See you tomorrow in another video.